Hi guys. So we are going to do a technique today where we're going to take a uh, design or pattern and turn it into a shape. So I'm going to take some, I just picked some random shapes um, and we are going to fill them with a pattern. Um, today we're going to do mandalas and um, I've got, I've got one to start. I've got this Celtic mandala here and we are going to put it inside this puppy paw. And so I'm going to right click copy and then paste it over here. Um, and we want the puppy paw to be filled with the Celtic mandala design so that we can um, layer it. And we're gonna we're gonna do this out of a patterned vinyl today, and so um, one of the things that I found with patterned vinyl is when you do a design with intricate lines like this, it can kind of be hard to make out what it is um, with the pattern depending on what you're putting it on. So having an offset back layer that's a solid color kind of helps show off what that is. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this puppy paw to a different color. Um, you want them to be of contrasting colors because when we go to layer it later, it'll be easier to see. So the first thing I want to do is I do want to offset this. So we're going to open our offset tool and I'm going to click offset and about a tenth of an inch is pretty good for what I want to do. We're pretty big right now. We're going to shrink it down. Uh, but I'm going to apply, and you can see that each one of those is separate pieces. You see the different boxes, and so I just want to, well, want to keep all of those grouped together so that they don't get don't get out of line. And we're just going to set that to the side right now. We don't need it yet, but we want to take this puppy paw, and again put it in, um, into this this. Celtic mandala. So we're going to send this to the back so that the puppy paw is behind the pattern and we want to line it up where we want it. We can undo if we make a mistake. Uh, so you can always go back. It's not a big deal, but I do like to kind of use this opportunity to get it right where I want it. I'll zoom in a little bit and see. I kind of like the center of it right there. And all right, so we're going to select both and then we want to open up our modify window. And we are going to accidentally hit something. We are going to, with both of these selected, you can see the two boxes, we're going to crop. And that's going to crop the mandala into the shape of the paw. And again, you can see each one separate little pieces. And we want to keep those together. So you just want to make sure you group those. You can right-click group. You can use your keyboard. On a Mac, it's Command-G. On a PC, it's Control-G. But that's it. That's all there is to it. And so we have this offset over here that we did. And we're going to turn that... We'll turn that white and send it to the back. And you can see when we create this decal, we'll have our pattern vinyl on the front and then the solid color vinyl on the back. So um, you can tell that it's that puppy paw. So let's do another one. Um, I'm going to go here to my library. I've got some... Um, PNG graphics that I downloaded um, that are that are mandalas and I'll put a link down below for where you can get these but let's take this one here open it up it is a PNG so we are going to have to trace it if I were to make the cut lines visible you'll see that it's just this red box there's not any cut lines around the uh, mandala itself so real quick, we are going to turn on our trace window, select the trace area, drag. These are black and white. They're super simple. Drag it. It'll turn yellow. Click trace. And we're going to delete this. Click on our trace. And I like to fill it with black so we can see what we're working with. There we go. And then we need a shape. 
let's do a butterfly. So I'm going to copy the butterfly, come in here, and let's turn the butterfly a different color. Again, I just like to do that so that I can see them. I'm going to send it to the back so that it will be behind. Let's do our offset. Again, 0.1 inches works good for me. Apply, and then we'll just save that for later. And because we have already done the offset on the um, the butterfly, we don't want to adjust the size of the butterfly because then the offset won't fit. So if we need to adjust the size, we'll adjust the size of the mandala. Uh, again, I really like having the center of the mandalas lined up in the center. You know, you can do them off to the side. It could be pretty cool. Uh, you just want to resize it so, it, you know, it fills the whole thing. But I like them in the middle. It's just personal preference. You could do this with any kind of doodle. But let's get that towards the center. Select both and crop. There we go. And then let's take the back and we'll turn it blue. Again, you can cut these out of whatever color you want, but cut this black would be patterned vinyl, and then the blue would be a solid color, whatever color you want to do. And if you've seen the other videos, well, we lost some bits. Let's go back over here. And get this blue. There we go. We want to select all of this, right click, and group. And now we can move it around. Uh, you've seen my videos on layering and creating the registration box. So if you needed to do that, obviously you would create your boxes. Here. And I'm not going to go real into depth with this. I do have several videos showing how to use the registration boxes, so make sure you check those out. Space them, and then you know, whatever size it is you want to make this. Delete that. Delete that, and then cut each piece, and then you can layer them. So. That's it for this part, and I'm going to cut some vinyl. I'm going to make a few more, a few more shapes and um, cut the vinyl, and then we'll put them together, and you can see how it looks. Okay, so we have done our um, mandala cropping for our butterfly and our puppy paw print, and so now we're just going to weed, and we're going to do the butterfly first. I'm just going to weed that out, and again, we've got those registration boxes at the bottom. Out this butterfly, and this is the printed vinyl from Scrappy Chicks on vinyl. Uh, it's awesome, it cuts really easily. I use the same cut settings as I do for my um, other adhesive vinyl. I put them all on the mat at the same time and cut it all with the same setting, same blade, same everything, and it just cuts so smooth. It's just it's awesome to work with. So, we're gonna weed out these little pieces, it weeds really easily. So we've got all of our bits weeded out, and we're going to do a quick layer, and we're going to use these registration boxes. I had a, I have a less than sticky mat. I'm waiting on a new mat to come in the mail, and I had a corner lift and had to, had to go at my registration box with a exacto knife there. But this is one reason why I like to have more than two registration boxes. My AT65 transfer tape. I buy it in 6 inch rolls and 12 inch rolls. But we want to layer the pattern one first because that's going to go on top. 
And I'm going to have several videos on my YouTube channel at lbcreates.com that show you how to make the registration boxes, how to layer multiple layers. This is only two. This one's pretty easy. You could try and eyeball this if you wanted to. I just like the simplicity of being able to do it without a whole lot of thought and effort. So I do love my registration boxes. Just gonna line those up. I'm gonna stick it down here on my table. Lift off this backing and then just use my squeegee and smooth it down. And even though you could tell it was a butterfly, I really like doing the offset with the solid color behind it. Let's trim off this excess here. These are my favorite scissors. Put a link to those down below along with my tweezers. Put a link to where you can get the vinyl, where you can get the app tape. You can get a squeegee from anywhere you buy vinyl usually. They're oftentimes maybe a dollar, sometimes less. You can get them in multi-packs, but check that out. That neat looking. Very cool. Okay, one more. We're gonna do the puppy paw. So this one again, we're just going to weed this off. Comes off real easy there. And then again, this printed vinyl from Scrappy Chicks on vinyl is just awesome. It weeds so nicely. Look at that, it's just coming up. Cut beautifully, weeding beautifully. Oh, and we did lose, again, that's from my not so sticky mat that I'm working with. I have a new mat coming, but until then, it's just frustration. So let's get these little bits off of here. And this is, again, why I like to have more than two registration boxes when I'm layering. Just for instances like that. So then we just have these little doodads in the middle here. So how many of you guys have ever sat there and dug through your weeded out vinyl? Maybe it already made it into the trash looking for a piece. The dot to an eye or a little piece like this. Which is what happens sometimes when you go too fast. The nice thing about patterns like this is you really don't even notice. Okay, so. Again, because we're layering with the pattern and the solid, we want the pattern to be on top. So we are going to do that one first on our app tape. And then we're going to pull this off. Always, I like to lay that back down to protect it and keep it from sticking uh, prematurely so that way when I line it up I don't have to worry about keeping that piece up in the air again we have the two registration boxes still even though I lost one I have two left so that I can line this up if the registration box comes up when you're weeding it's it's almost impossible to get it back down in the original spot unless you're cutting too deep and it leaves a mark on your backing but so then you're cutting too deep it shouldn't be doing that Just lay that down that looks so cool so you know obviously you could cut the shapes just like the instead of doing the, the layering with the mandala pattern on top and then the other one on the bottom 
Um, you could cut just the puppy paw out of the pattern vinyl and you'd get a really neat look, but I really dig the way it looks. And you can change up this look completely just by changing the color of the vinyl that you put on the bottom. So I used a matching color with this one. So we have purple in the pattern and then I used purple on the back, but I think that's really cool. I love the way that looks. But you can see with the butterfly, I did kind of a contrasting color. Um, white would look really cool. I bet black would look really cool. Um, I'll have to do one with black soon. I bet that would be awesome. But that's um, the mandalas that we, that we um, cropped and cut, and I think they look really cool. And I'd love to hear what you guys think. Thanks for watching.